Hey everybody, Pat's Plates PVTV. Coming back from another long day at the Nairi DMV office. And then we went ahead and did some deliveries. Dropped off some plates at Gecko, the car doctor, with clients they had their cars there, either in storage. So remember last year in 2022, Nairi and many other Mexican states had changes of government administrations and when they do that they change their plates raises money and then they go through and kind of clean up uh, here in Nayarit um, when you change ownership of a vehicle you also have to get new plates so yeah it kept me busy an issue that's been coming up is people that are selling their cars not just Nayarit but also Jalisco but here's a story for Nayarit uh, Person contacts me, says, Pat, I sold two ATVs and my car. I want to make sure that the plates are canceled. I go, great, no problem. What plates do you have? They go, well, we have one of the ATVs plates and the car plates, right? Another ATV, the guy's not answering our messages. We're not having great communication with you know, the other people anyways. Uh, so we go ahead, we're able to go ahead and for the ATV person that bought, and did not um, answer. We went ahead and got a letter that basically said the plates were lost and using uh, IDs of our client, we went ahead and were able to go ahead and cancel Baja those plates so they no longer had responsibility. So the guy, the buyer, right, he was still driving around with canceled plates, you know, which honestly, it's unlikely they'll figure them out but they might, you know, and they say, hey, where's your 2023 registration, 2022 plates? You know, the guy's gonna have an issue. So that's the, the first, you know, person. I guess the second ATV guy was good. They gave him the plate. Uh, so we're working right now on getting that plate canceled. It's a bit of a process right now because with old plates, you have to go ahead and turn an old plate. Now, because it's so late into 2023, you have to go ahead and get the new 2023 plate of that vehicle and then cancel that plate. So you can't cancel the old plate, gotta cancel the new one. This is also an issue with people paying their yearly registration on their old 322 plate. So the car though takes the cake. So this client goes ahead and sells the car to somebody, right, you know, uh, and the person should have gone ahead and filed paperwork to have each car changed into their name, uh, but they didn't. What they did is they falsified a letter, basically saying that uh, they went and paid the yearly registration for the new plates and went and picked up the new plates uh, in place of our client. And I'm sure our client had given them a copy of ID and that's how they're able to do that. But when I checked in the system today, where the buyer is still driving on our clients under our client's name, so our client still has a liability for that vehicle. So if they're in an accident or something like that. Hopefully our client has a letter saying, hey, I sold the car. That helps, but still the cops are going to go ahead and come after him and say, hey, you know, and, you know, might have to go to jail first and then prove that the car was sold. You can't be like, oh, I have this. Well, good for you. Time to go to jail. Anyway, so we're working on that, but that's the same other thing. We have to go ahead and generate a lost plate letter that those plates were lost, but we have to generate the letter based off the new plate number that the buyer went ahead and picked up the new plates with. So that's funny. So we check the system, they give us a new plate number. Now we're gonna go ahead, cancel those plates, and then our client won't have any liability. And now the guy that bought the car, sneaky guy that is never bothered to go ahead and transfer it into his name, he's gonna be driving around on canceled plates. And that's serious stuff. That is like super, super big issues to have count to be driving on canceled plates. So, you know, and it's not just him, we have another client in Jalisco, really, really great client, really nice guy. And he went ahead and sold, he sold uh, his truck to, you know, some, to, to a friend of a friend and said, okay, you know, just go ahead, this year registration is paid for, get it transferred into your name, you know, and great. And then didn't think any more of it until the buyer contacts us and says, well, we have an emergency, we need to sell the vehicle. I like, okay, well, let's look at it. And we see that the vehicle uh, still owes from when our, our client originally sold it back in 2006. So our client trusted this guy to go ahead and sell the vehicle 
or pardon me, to transfer the vehicle to his name, but they never did that, right? For whatever reasons, they're busy, who knows? And so, yeah, now, now we have that issue where, you know, the client is freaked out because they go, hey, you know, if this guy's an issue, uh, pardon me, the, the client's freaked out because says, now the guy I sold it to is going to sell itself to somebody else. And that person, you know, well, you know, the car owed like 9,000 pesos in back registration. The person was going to buy the truck for 40,000 pesos. If somebody pays 40,000 pesos, they're not going to pay another 9,000 pesos just to get the paperwork up to date, much less another, let's say, you know, 3,000 pesos, 2,000 pesos to get it transferred over into their name. So uh, our client, you know, said, hey, please cancel those plates. And we let the, the, the first buyer know and say, hey, we, we got to do this for this guy because technically he's the legal owner. So even though this guy had to have the car for six years, five years, you know, and he said, hey, give that paperwork. Initially he said, give that paperwork to the buyer. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to listen to the legal owner. The legal owner is the original client that said, no, no, you know, I'll pay the back registration. I'll get it from the guy that I sold it to, but do not let this car go any farther without getting my name out of it. So that's a big thing to realize that you got to go ahead and stay on top of here in, in Mexico is realize you sell a vehicle, you want to do a Baja, a cancellation of the plates uh, to go ahead and ensure that you don't have any liability. You know, and it's extremely unlikely that anything is going to happen. We don't hardly ever hear of anything ever happening. But you don't want to be that guy or gal that it happens to, right? That's not... <laughs> don't want to be the first or the second, whatever it is. So just be aware of that. The other thing you can do, like some plates transfer. So with Nayarit, best just to cancel those plates. Other states where plates transfer, like Jalisco, Michoacan, some of these other states... Mexico City, um, you know, if you know the person, you trust them, but that's hard because, you know, we know people that they knew them and they trust them and, you know, never happened. Anyways, I'm going a little bit too long on this. We like to keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, if you are selling a vehicle, cancel the plates, unless you are using an intermediary like moi, right, to go ahead and you give the paperwork to me and then I go ahead and handle the transfer of ownership because I'm not going to release the paperwork to the buyer until the vehicle has been transferred out of your name, right? So some people go ahead and they say, okay, let's split Pat's fee. Sometimes, you know, it is technically responsible to the buyer, but that's, that's the way that works. Anyways, thanks for watching Pat's Plates PV TV. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.